Broadway favorite Kevin Kern is starring as Peter Pan creator J.M. Barry in the national tour of Finding Neverland. We're here at Gibney Dance Studios in New York City to chat with the star. Mr. Kevin Kern, thank you so much for joining Mr. us. Mr. Mr. Kevin, Mr. Kern. Kevin Kern. Thank yes. you so much for joining <laughs> us in these lovely wicker chairs yes. to talk about yes. your, your show, Finding Neverland, Finding the tour. Finding Neverland, yeah. You play J.M. Barry yes. in the show. So what is it like getting in the head of J.M. Barry? I think of it as the sort of this essence of J.M. Barry that starts with this historic character, but then we live in musical theater world, you know? So it's <laughs> right. like every character in, in a good musical, that it starts with something that is real, but then it always goes to that heightened reality. So for me, the, the, the thing to, to start with was the script itself, like mm -hmm. what this, what the guardrails were on in this show. So like, I while this character is Jay and Barry, um, so much of it is is more universal than that. I mean, it's this person who is uh, experiencing something that makes them a better person. Right. You played J. M. Barry on Broadway as well. You've mm -hmm. done this performance hundreds of yeah. times. Yeah. Well, like point. over a hundred. <laughs> over a hundred. Let's say. Let's say over a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, are you still? Do you do you still find new things about this character? Does your imagination open up in different ways while playing him? Still. I came in and I have a really strong grasp of what it is, the story that, that we're telling. Mm -hmm. And throughout this process of these few weeks that we've been here, we found new ways of telling the story. We've found Christine and I are- Christine are Dwyer. Christine Dwyer, who's You're playing Sylvia, who's right. fantastic. And we're finding different things. And uh, Tom Hewitt and I are finding different things. And that's the way it goes, you know, is that, yeah. every, is that things change and things move. And, and theater is, is a live thing that, that lives in that moment. So right. it's just really fun to play with that every day. And one of the things that must be so particularly fun about this job is it's it's about theater people. You're, yeah. you're in a show about making a show. Yeah. That, to be able to play like that all day long must just be a blast. Yeah, it is. It's a great, I'm, I mean, it's there, there are people, you know? It's like, <laughs> right. and honestly, the coolest thing about being in shows and I always say this about being in a Broadway show, is that when the, the audience comes to see the show, that's the moment that they're seeing the show. Mm -hmm. So whatever night on a Tuesday night in October that they're seeing the show, it's not the same show that happened the day before or a year before. It's that moment, and, and it's a good thing to think if you're tired, you know, these people, this is the only moment that they're gonna yeah. maybe see the show, that all these people are gonna be together. The show itself kind of lives in that knowledge of, this is theater, theater is special. These people are special because mm. they're a little bit special. <laughs> right. And, uh, and we're a little bit special. And uh, th th there's so many bad things about this life, mm. but the, the special things are the things that we really right. hold on to, which are the reason why we keep coming back to it. Right, sure. Yeah. And one of, the, one of the bad things I think you might be referring to is you're, you're a father of four. Yes. Going on tour for however long has got to just be a little hard, right? I it's, mean. It's so hard and I've had kids, I mean, I, I was telling Christine uh, that by the time I was her age, I had three kids. Right. And, and she was like, when did you have kids? Like, when did you, <laughs> I was 27 when I had my first kid. So we've, it's been hard for us to go out on tour. Mm -hmm. And this was just such a great opportunity that yeah. I, that we sort of, figured out a way to make it work, but it's still gonna be really hard to leave the kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna be able to see them, and our producers are being great for me to try to figure out ways to see them and bring them out uh, to, to see me. And it's funny because my wife and I, when you have to go away, we call it musical theater Iraq. <laughs> right, and your wife's a performer as my well. My wife's so a performer, Megan Lawrence. Right. And so she, right now she's opening in a Holiday, Holiday Inn. Inn. I'm yeah. staying at a Holiday Inn. She's, <laughs> she's in Holiday Inn. Right. So yeah, it's a plug for Holiday Inn as well. Both Holiday Inns. So it's, you know, we're figuring out babysitters sure. and stuff, but she's, in the middle of opening this brand new Broadway show mm -hmm. and dealing with our four kids and everything that comes with it. And the kids are, the oldest is 15 and the youngest is four. Okay. So yeah, yeah. so my son is 
in a sophomore in high school. Right. And my youngest is two very different stages. Yes. That you're running the gamut between. Correct. Yeah. Yes. I get it. Yeah. Like, I want to talk a little bit about the the history of Mr. Kevin Kern here. Yeah. I don't know Mr. why I keep Mr. saying history. Um, Mr. Kevin, Doctor. Born Doctor in Kevin Cincinnati, Kern. Ohio. Yes. Grew up in Kentucky. Yep. Was musical theater was performing always the way you were going to go, or did you stumble upon it? I, um, when I was a little kid, my my mom and dad got us into modeling jobs, oh. and I'm from Cincinnati area. I'm modeling. Going, <laughs> I did some underwear modeling at like six. <laughs> Look it up. Um, uh, the uh, so we did we did things in Cincinnati commercials and and you know school circular kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know back to school circular kind of thing. Sure. And I don't know why my mom got us into it. We just sort of it was something that was interesting for her and and it was fun for us. And she was hardly a stage mom. I mean she was sort of like. Do you guys still want to do this? My sister and I were like, yes, yes, we do. And of course, my sister is now a stockbroker, and my brother, who didn't want any, didn't want anything to do with it, is now like a movie star. So you know, gotcha. Joey Kern. Right. So we did that stuff growing up, and um, my claim to fame is that uh, because they were out of Cincinnati, was Kenner Toys was in Cincinnati, and, and when I was. Five years old, I'm on the back of a Star Wars box. Oh, Of okay. a Star which, Wars toys box. Which character? Um, R2-D2, oh. the large R2-D2. I mean, it's one of the major characters. Yeah, so I mean, you and J.J. Abrams must just be I mean, those. we're just like, you know, Besties. I've been involved with, with Star Wars a lot longer than he has. Right, yeah. so. So Call there's that. for pointers. There's That's, that, yes. <laughs> you started off jumping into a long-running show, Les Mis. Yeah. You've also been part of Wicked. You were Fiero. Yes. Those yes. hot white pants. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you've also been in the opening cast of, you, you had The Wedding Singer. Yep. You had 9 to 5. What, what was a particularly special Broadway experience for you? What stands above um, the rest? Les Mis was special. Mm. I mean, Les Mis, it was the first original. Show. I mean, it was the first show, and it was right after the 10th anniversary happened. Uh, and my wife, who I'd met originally in uh, doing a course line when we were both really young, we sort of lost track of each other, and then we were both in Les Mis together. Mm. So that's where we then kind of met back up and right. then started dating and stuff. But got started on those kids. Got started on the kids, <laughs> yes. But it was after that. We got married first. Yeah, right. yeah get married first, kids. Uh, but uh, all of them are, were special. I have to say, I've closed every show that I've, I've ever been in. Like, I've been there for closing night, even Les Mis. Like, even Les Mis couldn't couldn't stay open with me in it, mm -hmm. yeah. And I've closed two shows on my birthday. You, you, you just usher in the next. I usher in the of. next, the next, exactly, <laughs> That's all. exactly. I like it's to look not, at it that way. It's, it's not that, you know, it's not that they had bad runs. No, not at all, It's just no, that I'm classics. there long enough that we're there for the closing. We, yes. Yes. And I, I wanna bring it back, Perfect. just bring it back to the show a little bit. You, as a family man, as yes. I'm assuming, picking what you do, when you pick your next projects, it's important to think, you know, what can my kids come to, what can I? Right. Why, why is Finding Neverland a particularly fantastic show for families for everybody um, what why are people going to love the tour um, of this in terms of my kids uh, I did hair in London and so they got to see me naked up on stage so they're, <laughs> they're much happier seeing me in this they're sort of like oh god dad like stop getting naked on stage and making us come see the show so <laughs> really like anything I, they came to see me in in bridges to Madison County and people were like is this like an appropriate show for your kids I was like They've seen way They're less appropriate. They're all fine. They're fine. <laughs> Getting back to Finding Neverland. Um, Finding Neverland is a great show for kids, and I think that goes without saying. And I think kids, uh, all the kids that I've, my kids and, and friends of my kids that have come to see the show loved it. But I think the thing that, that people need to also know is that it's a great show for date nights and for, um, you know, grandparents to bring their kids or right. for um, teenagers. My, my teenagers really enjoyed the show and I think there's different things that people enjoy. I, my brother, who is this, you know, edgy LA, you know, movie guy, you know, told me, he said, I actually really enjoyed the show. You know, right. I mean, it, it, it's got a lot of things that lots of different 
you know, yeah. sides of people will, it's will enjoy. It's for everybody. It's for everybody. It really right. is. It Excellent. really is. Well, yeah. make sure you go check out Kevin Kern yes. and the fantastic cast yeah. of the Finding Neverland Tour. For more information about the show, you can check out Broadway.com. And to find out when it's coming to a city near you, near you and how to get tickets, check out BroadwayAcrossAmerica.com. Kevin, thank you so much thank for you. joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll thank see you, you on the road. Bye. See you guys.